Hi guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you like this makeup look, just pause the video right now, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe. Roll in that intro, boom! Keep in YouTube family I feel like it's been ages since I've sat in front of a wall and spoken to you guys and we've done some of this tutorial business it's been ages I know right <laughs> thank you so much for sticking it out through that intro I hope you guys enjoyed it do you guys like what you're seeing this is the new Eid look for you guys mm -hmm. back with the inspo before we continue I want to let you guys know that this video is a paid partnership between Estee Lauder group of companies and Modest Visions okay so for this year's Eid look I wanted to create something which was really minimalistic but still impactful and a look that can be used for not just Eid but like for nikah looks for party looks and this is just one of those go-to looks the Desi outfit that I have on is from Fabiha Fashion it is so comfortable I'm going comfortable this year I don't know about you guys but I'm done with like heavy outfits by the way I'm going to leave all of the product lists in the description box below so if there's anything that I use today that leaves an impact on your life <laughs> go and buy it girlfriend okay if you guys like what you see and you would like to see how I created it and keep on watching okay Okay, so you guys know that I'm really big on prepping my skin. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and I'd probably do this two days before Eid or a day before Eid, is go in with a face mask. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. So it's a hydrating treatment. You leave it on your skin for about 10 to 20 minutes, and it's ideal for anyone with dry skin as well. You guys will love this. It soothes, it hydrates, it moisturizes your skin, and I put it on top of a cleansed skin. It's so good for your skin. You guys will see how nice and smooth your skin feels when you take it off. You can use it two to three times a week. You can use it morning or night. You can even use it when you're on a plane or something. And you know when you feel your skin drying up? You can even use this and just massage it into your face. There you go, all washed off and my skin feels smooth. It looks a lot more refreshed and it just feels so much more softer. Okay, and for lip prep, I'm gonna use this cute little bottle. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color NB Nighttime Rescue Lip Oil Serum. It's got the cutest little sponge applicator and I'm just gonna run that on my lips to keep it nice and soothed and hydrated, ready for our lipstick application at the end. I like this one. I like that it doesn't burn your lips or it doesn't leave that tingling sensation. It's nice. Okay, and skin prep, my favorite. For skin prep, I'm gonna go in with a serum first. This is the Glam Glow Super Serum Six Acid Refining Treatment. Where did you see the color of this one? I know, right? Purple, say what? This has got a blend of six different acids. It's got glycolic, salicylic, mandelic, and it's great for lifting the skin, keeping the skin nice and refined. I absolutely love a good serum on my face. For moisturizer, I'm gonna use something that I'm absolutely loving right now. Anything which is gel-based, I am completely digging for my skin. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I don't know whether you can see it on camera. It's got this beautiful like little pink tinge, but it's all gel based. It is so emollient and so hydrating. It just changes the appearance of your skin. You can just use this on bare skin like I do and I go out of a daily and it just leaves this amazing gloss on your face. Look at that. Can you guys see the finish? It leaves this amazing glossy dewy finish and my skin just feels amazing. You know, a lot of people that have the Clinique Moisture Surge don't know this but you can use it either under makeup or over makeup we all know that but did you know you can use it as a overnight mask or you can use it as a five minute mask as well it works wonders if you just want that very quick fix or a quick shot of hydration on your skin it's brilliant to prep my under eyes I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer you can wear this alone to give it that instant brightness or you can wear it under concealer just to keep it looking a lot more hydrated I'm actually going to use a beauty blender just to to press that in you can use your fingers you can use a brush whatever you're comfortable with it just helps to make the under eyes look a little bit more brighter and it helps the light to bounce back off okay I'm gonna illuminate my skin now I'm gonna use the MAC Cosmetics strobe cream in gold light I'm just gonna squeeze some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna pick some up with a flat kabuki brush and I'm just gonna pat that into my skin wherever I want my skin to look really illuminated the shade gold light just works on olive skin tone it just illuminates in all of the right places and it just makes the light bounce so nicely i love this on the foundation p.s there are so many ways of using this you can use this on bare skin you can mix it into your daily moisturizer you can mix it into your foundation you can mix it into your tinted moisturizers the possibilities are endless even into your serums okay for super simple eyeshadow we are going to go in with the mac cosmetics mac art library eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade flamboyant 
Just look at the colors on the palette first. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? I'm sure some of you have seen this palette, but are you guys ready? Ooh, yeah! baby look at the colors on this this is a palette that will take you from your summers into your winter from your winter back into your summers keep that transition going in there for your autumn this is a perfect palette for an all year round seasonal transition okay for my transition i've picked up a dada and i'm going to pull this right from the inner socket but keeping it above the crease and really pull that out so it'll give my hooded eyelids the illusion of just being lifted and that's the way forward with hooded eyelids guys when you're doing your eyeshadow when you're doing your makeup you want to keep everything just looking really nice lifted and snatched then I'm going to take the MAC Cosmetics Kajal in the shade Marsala and this is a beautiful creamy formula lovely brown tone as you guys can see and we're just going to color in the lid at the top like a liner and then following my bottom line I'm just going to pull this cudgel out and just with a smaller brush I'm just gonna buff out this cudgel upwards to buff out and soften the color next I'm gonna pick up some of this embark and I'm gonna go super close to the lash line and pat this shade on to really intensify that pop of brown can you see that guys wow then I'm gonna go in with everyone's a darling and just gently tap that on the end right above all of that work that we've just done wow can you see that guys can you see that look at how intense these colors are right and you guys know right intense colors don't really blend or apply so softly but the formula on the matte cosmetics eyeshadows are just something else and now that the lashes are on my eyeshadow just looks so much more flattering and can you see how like my eyes just look so much more elongated hooded eyelids wear how nice does the eyeshadow look I'm so feeling this. Anyway, time for some foundation. And for foundation, I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. My shade is NC35. Sometimes I like to mix it with NC40 as well. I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm just going to lift off the excess and I'm going to tap it around my forehead area. And with the rest of the excess, I'm going to knock it around my nose and my chin area. And that way, we can distribute this foundation evenly. Wow look at that what a perfect match it sits so nicely as well wow i love the way that you can just keep on working with this it doesn't dry too quickly it doesn't set too quickly wow i like the fact that this doesn't cake my skin up can you see this like wow okay and to set the face i've gone in with my bobby brown sheer finish pressed powder in the shade warm and natural i've just set it very gently on my under eyes and just dusted it around my face Okay, and to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take the same MAC Cosmetics Kajal in the shade Marsala and just run it into my waterline. And when you use this, guys, you guys will see how creamy this formula is and it doesn't even hurt your eyes. Such a creamy formula and I think it makes such a difference from using black all the time. And this is my Eid look done. What do you guys think? I love the fact that it looks so minimalistic, yet it looks impactful. This is not just an Eid look. You could get away with this for a, a nikah look, even a very subtle bridal look. If you're that minimalistic bride, then this is definitely an eye look to go for. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you guys have a fantastic Eid. Please remember me and my family in your special and most precious prayers. I shall see you all in another video, inshallah. Until next time, be yourself, keep it real. Assalamu alaikum. Always be honest, keeping it modest. Always be honest, keeping it modest.